Hey guys, it's Claire Aiken, the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I want to talk about sort of a controversial topic, and that's when and how to mist your fiddly fig. And so there's a few types of people in this world. Some of them love misting their plants, and some of them hate to mist their plants. I happen to be somebody that doesn't really believe in misting plants, but I will walk you through what I see are the pros and cons, and when you might want to. So in theory, you wanna mist your houseplants because you wanna increase the relative humidity. My argument against that is that we have done studies where if you mist your houseplant, it increases the relative humidity for a few seconds and then there's no long-term you know, increase in humidity. If you're really interested in increasing the relative humidity, invest in a humidifier or what you can do is actually group your plants together, which helps them all stay at a higher relative humidity. But one legitimate reason to mist your plants is to cool them down. So if you're living in a place where they're in very hot temperatures, you can mist your plant and that helps them to evaporate the water and cool down their system. So if you're worried about your plants being too hot, misting them is a legitimate way to cool them down. And then, you know, misting the soil actually does help improve soil moisture. So if you're living in a very hot, dry climate, misting your plant, including misting the soil itself, is a way to increase the soil humidity. One time I would never mist a fiddle leaf fig is if you live in a very humid condition and if you're facing any problems with overwatering or root rot or fungal infections on your leaves because keeping your leaves too moist is going to be bad. You could, you know, have bacteria or fungus breeding on the leaf itself. So if you live in a very humid place, just don't worry about misting your plants. There's really no need and it can actually be a bit dangerous. So let's go back to the basics. If you're misting your plant, it could be that you're worried about humidity. But if you really want to increase the humidity of your plants, try grouping them together. This is always a good excuse to buy more plants so you can put them all in little groups or little clusters just like they grow in the wild and you will have a higher relative humidity and all of the plants will do better in a group. You can also use humidity trays or open containers of water. One of the things I love to do is put cut flowers or a cut plant that's propagating within my clusters of plants. This means that you have a large container evaporating a lot of water that can really help increase the relative humidity of that small area. And then another option is just investing in a humidifier to meaningfully increase increase the humidity in your home, you need a big humidifier. The humidifier that I have is a whole house humidifier and it goes through five gallons of water a day. So it's a pretty big boy and it's connected to the main water supply. If you have a smaller apartment or a smaller room or you're just interested in doing humidity just for one area or one cluster of plants, you could get a much smaller humidifier and it still will increase the humidity at least a small amount, maybe 10% or so. And that might be all that you need really. And so when you think about it, fiddly figs like to be between between 30 and 60% humidity. So if you're running at 20%, you could get a very small humidifier and bump up to 30% where your plant's gonna be a lot happier. So the key is knowing the humidity of your house. So you're gonna wanna get a small inexpensive sensor and I'll link one below and that's gonna tell you what the humidity is. You may be surprised that you don't have a humidity problem. That's often the case as when people check their humidity, maybe they think their air is dry, but perhaps it's not as dry as they thought. You know, if you're above 40%, I really wouldn't worry about it. But if you're 20 to 40%, you may wanna do some of these steps to increase the relative humidity to get your plant to be a little bit healthier, a little bit more resistant to disease. So while I'm not a huge fan of misting my plants, if it makes you happy, certainly continue to do it as long as it's not causing any problems for your plants. But if you're really concerned about your humidity, you know, take some big steps to make sure that you have the proper humidity for your plant. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.